Okay, so we are back with yet another session of Artists in Residence Live, where we sit down and talk with artists about what's happening in the world right now. And right now there is a lot. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but we're talking about kind of how it's affecting artists, what we're doing, how we're pivoting, all that stuff. And today I am super happy to have back again uh, my buddy, 13 feet off the ground, sister, fellow artist, Jen Brisson. Jen, thanks Hi. for being here. Yay. Good to see you as always. I know we were saying today, this is I think the fourth time that we have done an interview together. And the first time was the first, well, kind of the first time I ever met you. So happy That's anniversary, right. darling. That's I think it was, uh, I think it was a, an East Side culture crawl related interview back then too so yes that's right and you were oh i think you also mentioned something about the frida it was like the first time i actually oh yeah the you. very first time i met you we didn't meet but uh but yeah. i got to sit and draw you i should haul out that paint i don't know where it is but uh you were dressed as frida at dr sketchy Yay. as our model it was amazing so besides being a model and a uh, and an artist <laughs> in the culture crawl tell us a little bit about yourself well um as you heard i'm jen brisson <laughs> and i am an, an artist uh, i do work in the animation industry during the day i work at titmouse in vancouver and uh and then i do my art all other times so um that's painting illustration i've been doing um as i mentioned in the last video that we did for this um i talked about doing some jewelry and some earrings and uh i used to do some performance art and stuff but yeah it's yes. uh more on the visual painting side these days one of the things I have loved seeing you do over the last, especially the last couple of years, is your mural work too, is just growing in leaps and bounds. It's been amazing to watch. I think we're going to see a little of that in your, okay. in your new space today. Yeah. Yay, right on. Well, I'm Carol McQuaid and uh, I am also an artist. I'm a printmaker, painter, and uh, have been having fun connecting with other artists and doing these walkthroughs of our spaces and talking about how we're being affected by all this stuff. So how about we throw on your video and you can oh. walk us through your okay. space. Awesome. I, uh, I think I walked or I videotaped it fast. So hopefully I'm not going <laughs> to speed talk through this whole you, thing. You've got some fast talking to do. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> well, I loved it. I had to watch it twice when you sent oh, it to me. So okay. here we go. Okay, so this is Gore Studio. It's uh, 617 Gore Avenue in Chinatown, Vancouver. And uh, I believe it was, uh, it's about 100 years old, probably. And the home uh, used to be the Kim Hang Noodles restaurant. So the sign's still outside. So if you see that, that's where this space is. It's, um, it houses about 15, 16 artists and six of us are getting ready for the crawl. So we're about to get on the second floor here. There's my, uh, my friend and neighbor, Leanne, practicing her aerial silks there <laughs> while she's not uh, making face masks. Um, and then here's my space. So I just moved into the space. I used to be upstairs. I have a lot of stuff, as you <laughs> can see. And uh, I honestly have no idea where all of this stuff was in my other space because <laughs> I feel like it's like the third the size. But um, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun in the last couple of weeks trying to get ready to um, just for the crawl. And I've been wanting to take a 3D capture of my space as well for the crawl and just for myself. And I did this mural. That was the first thing I did. And I, I wanted to get something that I thought would, could tie everything together. And I think I did a great job. With it it um, is perfect. So this is Manny. She's been with me for a while and now she's my bartender. <laughs> so I have this amazing bar that I've had for a while and now I have a great place to put it. And um, like I mentioned earlier about the earrings, so now um, I'm able to display my earrings a little bit more here. So just kind of <laughs> all over. It's a little bit manic, but hey. <laughs> awesome. Um, it still works. So yeah, so I've got, I've had a bunch of lights and I've been hanging up uh, my fishes and all my other art here. So I've got a couple of pieces here that I um, did with um, Presha as our um, collab um, uh, Galactic Kitty. 
And I also have, I did, I guess, make some new art this year. Um, there's some little mushroom pieces. I did, and I did moths the year before. So last year I did a lot of um, mushroom ink drawings and I've kind of put the moths and the mushrooms together this year. And it um, turned out pretty cute. And then I've got some, some stuff from past, um, past festivals and events that I used to be involved with. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to have a phone there so I can call home. <laughs> <laughs> call, call to the gods and goddesses. Call to uh, the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> this is my work, my workspace in here. Um, so the light's a bit better. And I've got all those paints from past uh, murals that I've done. So it's been great to be able to use the stuff for other things like this one. And just had such a great time, like just trying to figure out what how I wanted the space to be and what kind of vibe and feeling I wanted to get out of here so I've like like literally all this stuff in here is things that I've had before so like the disco balls I had from home uh the mirror I had from before um those luggages I've had from before it's just it's really is just the mural was the thing that tied everything together and um like can see how high the ceilings were right so I wanted to create a little bit of a softness into the space as well. So the material, again, I had from from vending before as well. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think it, it just works really well. And it just makes me very happy. And um, it just kind of flowed together really easily. And um, I'm excited to actually start creating in here. I mean, I've, I feel like I've already created a lot just just in the space alone, but just uh, it's really neat to to think about the space as the art. Yeah. It's, and um, just trying to like pick out different feelings and um, themes that I wanted to to put into it. And uh, I think it's just really me. <laughs> it's like me in a nutshell, I guess. Your, your mural is like the rug in the Bing Lebowski, <laughs> totally. <laughs> it just ties the room together. The nihilists are going to come and steal it. <laughs> well, then I'll have to do another one. <laughs> so part of what, like looking at that space for me, it makes me think of a couple of things. First of all, it makes me think of every crawl that I've attended. And even though all the people aren't in the scene there, like hmm. the, the feeling of celebration and, and just hmm. that total art fix is is totally there i and love that i love that you said celebration because yeah it does feel like that it's like this is what you've done this last year like yeah. you should be happy you should be proud of, about this and uh, yeah. yeah yeah and i think of like a lot of studios around town and our other friends of ours who are in the crawl and it just yeah it's a, it's such a it's such an amazing event and it is something totally worth celebrating. The other thing I find, I think about looking at your space is uh, your connection with, with making movies and animation and everything. It's got a real cinematic feel to it. Totally. Yes, that's yeah. really interesting point too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very animated for sure. Yeah. And the third thing is I want to come and get served a drink by Manny. Yes. <laughs> She's learning a few new recipes, um, so give her a little time. <laughs> Dirty martini, get her ready. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I'll write that one down. Note to self. <laughs> so with the crawl, I mean, the crawl is this amazing thing. It's been going on for how many years now? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I've, I've been involved in the crawl for probably 13, 14 years, and it was going on, I think, well before that. Yeah, so. yeah, it's been this in incredible like institution in the Vancouver art scene. And yeah, I, I was really um, sad when um, you know when the pandemic hit that uh, I was sh sure this wasn't going to happen, and uh, a lot of artists still decided to just participate and you know um, say they were going to be involved without even knowing what was going to happen. And to be honest, like we still don't know what's going to happen. Like the numbers went up to what was like 400 today. So, I mean, any, any day now we, it could, you can be back at lockdown. So who knows? So, but we're just going full steam ahead for now. Yeah. And, and how is it going to work? What's, what, what is the program now? So, um, 
we have a virtual preview week, which is happening this week. Um, so those that is for people who um, want to take a look um, at people's faces online. Uh, there's a platform we're using where you can create a 3D model of your space, which I have yet to do, but um, where people can just go to the site and take a look at it. They can, you know, if they don't feel like they could come in or if they don't feel safe enough or for whatever reason um, sometimes the studio isn't even open for in person so you can take a look at someone's studio space from there and you can um, contact the artist and or even if you just like want to take a look to see what you're getting into so that you're in and out a little bit faster and people aren't lingering around so much yeah um, and then the following week uh, so November uh, 12th to 15th uh, which is the Thursday to Sunday, as well as November 19th to the 22nd, which is the next Thursday to Sunday, the following week. Um, they, there's going to be in-person visits, and there's only selected studios, I believe, that are participating in that. And we had to um, send in a safety plan that we are going to be following during the in-person visit. Um, which means uh, having a limited amount of people in your studio at any point in time and a limited amount of time per person. Um, constant wiping down of spaces. We had to measure the floor and, to, and, um, and then, you know, took into account how many artists are going to be participating, how many volunteers are we going to have, um, and then kind of figured out from that number how many people could we um, safely have in the studio at one point or another and then of course masks yeah. hand sanitizing stations all all that stuff but um, it's gonna be very interesting but there's a, a scheduler now too that you can go on to their website and book a time and people are already booking people are already scheduling so there'll be somebody <laughs> coming through well, so, I think yeah. people are hungry for something cultural yeah for sure yeah, like I, I don't know um, what it's been like kind of across the board, but um, I'm still seeing a fair number of art sales happening and talking to, to other, like people haven't forgotten about us artists, I don't think. I think it's just, um, yeah, it's just the getting out and out and I'll say it for our American listeners, getting out and about. <laughs> <laughs> boot and a boot. Boot and boot is, uh, is what's limited. And, uh, and for me, like I'm hearing you say this and thinking, oh, well, like normally I would be missing most of the crawl because I'm way up here on my mountaintop, but I'm going to be able to go in and do the 3D studio Yes. with, with everybody. So, so while there are stumbling blocks, there's some good upsides too. I saw somebody's Richard Tetrell put one up. Mm. Day, one of my favorite artists and yeah. uh, it I was, got to see Sherry's hers oh, was really cool too yeah Sherry Rogers who Sherry Rogers episode number one yay. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. yay so you went from working uh in an like in your workplace at Titmouse before before mm -hmm. March struck us all and then you went home started working and making your art at home yeah right which is and doing like, everything that's pilot. at home a box and yeah um and now you've branched back out so how has that transition been how does it feel um it, it feels good it feels really good um i'm really happy that i was able to get this space for one just because it, it is quite open compared to my space before and um and i feel like you know being at home most of the time I'm working from home, like you said, um, I'm being social, like lots of Zoom stuff. I'm playing games on uh, the computer and, you know, with Zoom meets as well. And then um, I've been working out in my living room. Yeah. So everything's basically here. So uh, just knowing that I have this space that I can safely go to and feel safe in there, I, I feel like it's like, like kind of like going to my bedroom or, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. hanging out somewhere and it's pretty exciting like I'm yeah like I, I feel like I could even have like a couple of people in there safely and just hang out with some friends because you know especially with the winter um coming yeah. um patios will be less available you know parks and beaches you probably get rained out a lot of times and getting cold so 
you know, we're looking into indoor spaces and it just looked, looked a little bleak. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait a minute, I have this space. This is, so I think just maybe subconsciously I was aware that that was something that I needed to prepare for. And so this, it's been, it's been nice to kind of have that to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at that same calendar and bleakness and went, it's time to make the leap down south. So I've got four more weeks here. Just bought a jumbo dog kennel to put my dog in and we are flinging ourselves to our house down south in Mexico. One trip to the grocery store to load it up with groceries and then I'm like closing the doors and uh, that's how I'm dealing with winter, but we all have our, <laughs> our own strategy. Are you going to be bringing a lot of your art stuff with you? Like, are you going to be... Well, I'm set up now, like I'm in the loft at our apex place right now. So I set it up for printmaking. I'm going to leave my press here and I'm just going to paint while I'm down there. So I've got that. Okay. Now you've been at our house down in Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. And uh, so my studio, the room where Sherry was staying uh, is usually a studio. So, so I'm all set up to paint there. I'm just going to go and hunker down and, uh, and, uh, try this with the sun turned on instead of like yeah. Uh, yeah where i am it's very like we're covered in snow and have been for ages and uh, it's it's time to pull the ejection cord yeah. for sure yeah yeah i wonder if it'll change uh your art subject like just the the art will change a bit too probably uh, yeah i wonder too like it's but i'm going from printmaking back to painting so there'll be that but but it'll be interesting to see how yeah yeah with everybody like every time you get into a new space where you are right now i see you've got your guitar there oh, yeah. <laughs> you do what i do like you work and then you go play work play back and forth bounce yeah, yeah keeps yeah. the creative juices flowing For sure. and uh, yeah change is uh, change change is as good as a rest so yeah 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 so what kind of numbers do you think you're going to get in there over the crawl Oh, uh, I think we're, I, I can't remember how many volunteers we're going to have in there, but um, so I think they've, I think we're pr planning on having 15 extra people in there um, per 20 minutes, but I, I don't in the think whole in that whole building so um so there's the artists and then the volunteers and then we're hoping to have um i think 15 people which is 15 visitors i should say coming through um i don't know what that what it's going to look like i i for sure it's not going to be as busy as past yeah. um, um I mean, we're going to have, a, we would have a lineup out the door if that was the case. And then I don't know, people want to even be in a lineup. Yeah. People are sick of lineups. Yeah. <laughs> but it would make sense that um, people who, who were coming out just to party are probably not. <laughs> <laughs> just to drink wine. and <laughs> For sure. That's a good point. Like, um, they'll be on a Zoom cocktail call. And uh, pro probably, I would think that you're going to see more serious art um yeah shoppers come through a lot more collectors a lot more like you said serious people um who yeah. are really into the art and who know what they want and who they want to see yeah. i think are the ones that are booking the appointments and then people who know a lot of the, the friends who you know are it's great to have their support as well but i mean they could also come visit me outside of the call if they want to right so it's, the, it's a lot of the people who who wouldn't normally get the chance to come out who really um, want just to either to meet the artist or see the new work or, you know, hopefully purchase some art too. But. Yeah. And who else is in your studio? Oh, so who's in my studio doing the crawl, you mean, or just yeah, in general? Like if somebody is coming to the crawl, who okay. else can you see at Gore Studios? Well, um, we have a lot of new people in the studio actually. So COVID, um, during COVID, a few, a, quite a few people ended up leaving, um, but we have a whole new fun roster of people <laughs> yep. in the studio. And uh, so a few of the people that will be in the studio for the crawl uh, is a new artist to the building named Alex. Alex Asai, I think is how you pronounce his name. He is upstairs. Um, he's actually in my old space. And mm -hmm. it's really neat to see how he has his uh, spot set up and how just, how just a little bit 
a furniture and different art just changes the entire environment. Yeah. Um, we have Emiko uh, Mizukami. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but Emmy, she's um, also a friend of mine. Um, I've known her through Thrive also as well. Yeah. And she is in the front section when you first walk in. Her work is amazing. And her space, it, it looks, she made it look so great as well. It's just so neat. Um, like what I was saying earlier, it's just creating the vibe and just creating the space. It's just kind of a fun thing on its own, right? Yeah. Uh, we have Patty Mead, who um, has been in the in the crawl at Gore Studio, I think, for three years as well, three or four years. And she's upstairs. Uh, we have Jennifer Higgs um, and Julian Peltier, who um, is a he's a carver, so he's got some nice like wooden stools and stuff. And um, yeah, it's a really nice variety of, of stuff that you can come in and see. Yeah. Nice. Do you feel like you're giving an Oscar speech and it's like, who did I forget to make? I know. Uh, <laughs> I've got my list here. Just to make I'll sure. create a solution while you check your list. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, it's Gore Studios. My studio, what last studio I had in Vancouver was on Gore and Georgia. And uh, so where would this be compared to? That, like super close, like uh, Gore Avenue and uh, Georgia, between Georgia and Kiefer. Oh, basically. wow. Yeah. Um, Great. Like, like, like a, I'm trying to think of what else is around there. Um, yeah, those noodle bowls are right around there. <laughs> there's that... lots of really good food in the neighborhood. <laughs> lots of ramen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, right on. And uh, I, all my, mem well, uh, when I had my studio there, I was in the crawl, which I love. Like, it's such a great experience. I'm, uh, I'm super mm. excited for you and for everybody yeah. doing it. But I have lots of memories, too, of just like walking around in the rain with an umbrella and, you know, not stopping until the last place was shutting their doors. Like, it's such a rich experience. There are so many artists in, in such a tight geographic area. I think a lot of artists too, when they're looking for spaces specifically, like, is this in the crawl boundary? Yes, tick, okay, I'm in. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it is a big deal for, for us to have, to have that kind of a vehicle for connecting with people and for buyers to have that kind of a, a platform to go and, and look and good for them for pivoting and doing things like getting the 3D studios going, putting the right kind of controls in place so that people can come and look and feel safe. So, mm -hmm. wow. Good I, on. I feel like that's kind of the future, you yeah. know, it's like a lot of the stuff is just inevitable. So it's just great to get to know it now and just kind of start getting used to it. And, mm -hmm. and you know, there's not a lot of other things supporting the arts right now. So yeah. I, I feel like, you know, we, it's, it would be a shame to lose this as well. So I'm, I'm hoping, you know, everyone does a good job and um, they, you know, make it better and better every year with this new online platform. Yeah. yeah. So for people who want to check it out, where should they look online? Um, they can go uh, to culturecrawl.ca. So C-U-L-T-U-R-E-C-R-A-W-L.ca. And it'll have um, the map to show you what studios are available, who is in those studios, um, and probably a lot of the 3D uh, virtual tours are on there um, as well. Uh, give people a few more days to get theirs ready because it's a bit of a learning curve, but um, yeah. yeah, so that's where they can go check out some stuff. And the, and the first day that they can go and uh, do the art version of trick-or-treating? Yeah. <laughs> art please <laughs> um, so November 12th which is a Thursday next Thursday yeah. um, they can start doing the in-person tours okay and for people who want to see your work online or connect with you where should they go um, you could go to I guess my website is not updated but you can go there if you want uh, j-e-n-n-b-r-i-s-s-o-n.com um, but I have a lot of stuff on Instagram, if you are on that uh, platform. It's at Jen Brisson Art. Okay. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm at Jen Brisson Art on Facebook as well. So like most of us right now, your Instagram's current. And if somebody goes to your website, <laughs> you 
know how it looks. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things that's like, uh, it's on my list of things to do. <laughs> that list that never gets any shorter. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm Carol McQuaid. You can find my work at carolmcquaidart.com and same Instagram is always way more current and that's Carol McQuaid Art as well. Uh, Jen, we have had lots of fun over the years together, went to Sicily and painted murals together, did our my cruise wife. Yeah, we were cruise, uh, cruise spouses. We crossed the Atlantic on a, on, what were we on? The Queen Mary. And, uh, you helped me teach my classes and it's just been so fun having adventures with you over the years and yeah. I just really love it. Love seeing what you're doing. I love the mural work you're doing with Fresha, what you're doing on your own. It's just all amazing and uh, your earrings, all of it. It's just, I think you've got a great setup there. I wish you the most amazing crawl. <laughs> and all the other crawl artists out there I am super happy for you if you are looking at or for art check it out it's an amazing event big thanks to the people who put it on as well it's fabulous if you are interested in seeing more of these kind of uh, chats with artists remember to hit the subscribe button hit like make a comment and uh, share it with your arty friends and <laughs> We'll be back. Uh, the next session, I believe, we're doing. Jen, you'll uh, you'll have fun with this. Is the um, is the person who hosted Graniti Muralis, which is where we all went in Sicily. The most amazing man. Every time we talk about what we're doing, he's like, "I will come and cook for you." <laughs> like, yes, please. I he had a great chat with him, a Zoom meeting at the beginning of the pandemic too, and it was really cool to reconnect with him. Oh, awesome! Yeah, yeah just we'll uh, have fun special guy and an amazing program so that's coming up we've got some other uh, local artists coming up some people from uh, some artists from North Bend and uh, and a little peek into a residency I did in Spain is coming up pretty soon too so so lots of fun adventures um, but it was really nice to connect with you my friend and yeah, thank you uh, for having me <laughs> my pleasure okay take care bye bye